Presidential hopeful under the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC, Asewaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has disclosed that if given the support to become president in 2023, he will move Nigeria from a country of potentials to a prosperous one. Speaking during his visit to the Palace of the Oni of Ife and Owa Obokun of Ijesha land in Oshun State, he said, Nigeria is endowed with both human and natural resources saying the country only needs the right person to harness its potentials for greatness. While stressing that the need for tolerance among the different religion and political leanings across the country for prosperity, he emphasized the need for youth to develop strong character, perseverance, ability to contribute to social economic development of the country. Tinubu said, Nigeria has a great resource base, both human and material, but we need to harness it to become valuable and move the country to prosperity. Our nation is endowed, and I promise if you push me forward, I will move it from potential to prosperity. The former Lagos state governor said, youth have right to political leadership too, but will have to work for it by developing strong character and leadership traits. We are not saying it is not the turn of the youth. You will be president, but you have to work for it. You have to demonstrate the quality, character, and intelligence to govern people, manage people. On his visit to the monarchs, Asiwaju Tinubu said their support to become president is germane, saying after rallying President Muhammad Buhari since 2013 for the seat, he, Tinubu, is ready to step into his shoes. We went round the country in 2015 to campaign for Buhari. Again in 2019, we stood with him and he won. He will soon finish his tenure. I'm saying they should not just leave the post. They should hand it over to me. I cannot demand for it alone. I must seek your assistance. If monarchs in the region unite and ask for it, if we ask for the presidency gently that they should hand it over to us, I'm totally ready to take over. I'm competent, capable, and fit to pilot the affairs of the country to greatness, he said. Responding, Oni of Ife Oba Adeyeye Ugunsi and Owa Obukun of Ijesha Land, Oba Adekunle Oromola Ra, at their respective palaces described Tinubu as a special breed whose specialty in identifying and nurturing talent is unrivaled. Only while praying for the success of his ambition, invoked the spirits of his forefathers to lead the battle and guarantee the success of the project. This is another promise Ambola Tinubu is putting out there. Uh, we know it's uh, already in the open. He's made it known to everyone that he's, he wants to run for presidency. He's declared his ambition, so no longer speculations or hearsay. After declaring his ambitions to run, uh, he's been going round. He's been consulting, he's been having meetings, he's been uh, meeting different monarchs, um, soliciting for support and for blessings and for endorsement. He's gone round and um, right now he's just visited the Oni of Ife. You know, in his last visit, he visited Olubadon. That was uh, uh, last week. He visited Olubadon last week and what he said at that point in time was that um, the youth, they should wait. And uh, after his turn, he's going to hand over to them. That sparked a lot of reactions. Most Nigerians were not okay with that. But even before all of this is visited, immediately he declared his intentions. The first set of promises he made was that if he's elected as president, there will be no school fees. Nigerians have not forgotten that one. We're putting um, all of those promises in one place. You know, politicians are very good at making promises. If we recall all of the promises President Muhammad Buhari made, before becoming president, if you elect me, I will do this. I will end insecurity. Corruption will be a thing of the past and um, the economy will be stable. We know none of those promises were met. Well, Tinubu um, is also reminding Nigerians right now that uh, he was part of those that supported Buhari seriously and Buhari won. On two occasions, he supported Buhari 2015 and 2019 and Buhari won the election um, those periods. So, he believes that uh, with all of his efforts and everything he's done, that uh, Buhari is meant to hand over to him. But this cannot happen alone. He needs the help of the monarch. He needs the help of the people as well. That if the people all come together in unity, that yes, let the presidency go to 
Bola Tinubu, then he will not um, have too much work to do. And that is the reason why he's going around. Well, on this his visit again to the Oni of Ife. He's promising, making another pledge that he's going to move Nigeria from potential to prosperity. That what he can see right now, there's a lot of potentials in the country, but people are still struggling. People are still um, struggling seriously. That's the, the word to use. You know, the economy is still bad, in a very bad shape. We're not even speaking of the insecurity. The economy is bad. A situation where um, the monthly salary, the average pay at the end of the month cannot even buy a bag of rice. That is a serious situation. So the, the economy is in a bad shape. So he is stating that if the people elect him, that that is what he's going to do for the country. And he's pleading with the monarchs that they should endorse him. They should help him. They should support him. He knows that the monarch can actually speak to their to their people so that is why he's starting from there he needs the blessings of the monarch and if the monarchs they all um key into his vision and if they all decide to endorse him and to support him the next thing is that the monarchs will begin to mobilize their people but let's not forget that monarchs are not meant to be politicians what we've seen lately is different monarchs are not politicians as at all they are meant to be the voice of the people. They stand on the side of the people. Because if they are politicians, it means that uh, the people will not really get the best. That is why monarchs are not meant to get into politics. If you recall the days of um, the Edo State Governorship election, when those are aspirants and the candidates went to the Oba of Bini, the sort of prayer he prayed for them was so epic. Epic prayer he prayed. He said, may the best man win the, the election. May the one that will put food on the table of the people win the election. So not the one that is making promises, the one that will actually do all that he's saying. I mean, that is the way it ought to be. You know, uh, the Oba of Bini showed that he wasn't for the politicians, rather he was for the people. Uh, really, really seeking um, good for the people. So that is how it should be. So we don't know, for this monarch, we don't know how it should be. Bola Tinubu said uh, it's been his long-time ambition to become president. I mean, everyone has the right. He's a Nigerian citizen. He has the right to... Um, contest he has the right despite the fact that um, his declaration has been greeted with a lot of criticism but that doesn't stop him from being eligible he's got the right and everything it takes to contest but if nigerians are ready to vote for him that is the other thing we'll be looking at the monarch's blessings is not enough the consultations with other top um, nigerians that he's been meeting that is still not enough we need nigerians to actually vote for him on the day if Nigerians are ruled out, then it's not democracy anymore. It democracy is a government of the people, for the people, by the people. It has to be the people. The people have to make that decision, make that choice. Well, guys, leave us your own thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.